Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in your Calculus 2 video set. This one's going to be on section 10.2 again, but now we're going to focus on objective 2, calculating the tangent lie to a set of parametric equations, to a parametric curve. Let's get started. Alright, so we want to find the equation of the tangent line to this specific curve. We have x equals t to the 7th plus 1, y equals t to the 8th plus t, at the specific point where t is equal to negative 1. Okay, so we have a couple equations for a line. We have y equals mx plus b. Now maybe the more useful one in this case is going to be our point slope form of the line, which is just y minus y sub naught equals m times x minus x sub naught. And the idea is m is the slope of this line. We want our m to be the instantaneous slope of the curve, so that is the derivative dy dx evaluated at that time t equals negative 1. Now what about y naught and x sub naught? Those are just from some point that's on our curve. So in that case we could say we're looking for the x and y values of some point on our curve, and we can get those by evaluating our set of parametric equations at t equals 1. So x sub naught is going to be x of negative 1. y sub naught is going to be y of negative 1. We're going to plug in that t value to find some starting point that's on our curve. We can do that right away. If this is x of t, then x of negative 1 is going to be, well, that's negative 1 plus 1 looks like 0. Now we'll look at y of t y of negative 1 is going to be positive 1 minus 1, also 0. So it looks like at time equals negative 1, we are right here at the point 0, 0. The next thing we have to do is calculate the slope at that point. So we have our new formula for dy dx. Recall from the last video that is y dot, that's the derivative of y with respect to t, divided by x dot, that's the derivative of x with respect to t. We can calculate those values here. If we look at y, the derivative of that is going to be 8t to the 7th plus 1. Then we look at x, the derivative of that is going to be 7t to the 6th. And what we really want is our slope at the point t equals negative 1. So let's plug in that specific t value. Looks like we have negative 8 plus 1 divided by 7. So it looks like we have negative 7 over 7. Looks like we have a slope of negative 1. And that seems appropriate given that point and this curve. Now all we have to do is put everything together. Once again we have point slope form of our line. Now we're going to have y minus our y value 0 is equal to our slope times x minus our x sub 0 point. It looks like our equation of the tangent line of this parametric equation at t equals negative 1 is y is equal to negative x. And once again, if we look back at our curve, that looks to be the appropriate line. All right, so this concludes this video on how to find the equation of the tangent line to a set of parametric equations to a parametric curve at some specific time value. Thanks for your time.